last time, we found out that the command for the Imperial Army is a big bunch of douchebags. We already knew that because in the uh, Route A, I think that they blatantly say that they can't let Shotaro be getting all the glory. On uh, Route A, surprisingly enough, Route A, I think, I think Sato actually had said that um, she thought Shotaro was a human tank at one point. So that's interesting. I th think I need to assemble tanks, only because I don't think I have many tanks, but I'll do that. Since it's, you can assemble anytime, so it's not a big deal. We can just move on. We can just move on. There's something on my screen. Oh, I'll take a detour, sure. I'll take all the detours. Oh, sorry. I just, I really like it. It's such a nice... Oh, damn it! It's round two, bitch. Extra episode. Fight the cat. Round two, bitch. This is gonna be slightly different, probably. In the middle of an in the middle of an expedition, we came across that. Meow. Big bro, there's a kitty there. Yes, it's a kitty. Wow, it's a kitty. Meow. Lieutenant, we have to prepare for battle. What? It's just a cat. Are you sure we're gonna fight it? And then we get killed. Uh. Mr. Cat Boot. Mr. Cat boasts an overwhelming cat power. You better save before sortieing. That's okay. I lost last time, and I, I. What's great about that? The first time I fought this guy, I freaking actually managed to kill one and got 150, like, 150 uh, thousand supply. I think it was or something crazy. Maybe it was just 1500. I don't remember. But it was a lot of supply for one cat kill. And I lost all my tanks, but I got, you know, I got the cat kill. The next time I did it, because I was like, oh, I can't accept that, I gotta try again. So I tried again, and, um, I got nothing. Zero. Nilch. Nada. <laughs> he killed everything of mine, and I killed nothing of his. But this time it's gonna be different, because I have a secret weapon known as an Asite. Asagayo. I have the Asagayo. I will crush you with the power of Asagayo. And a Ryoma as well. And a spare command tank. A spare low performance command tank. Really crappy secondary command tank hiding in the corner. Where it will hopefully be safe now. It doesn't have a red muffler. Do you see that? We need the red muffler command tank. <laughs> Otherwise, we lose. Oh, I can build more of those, can't I? Let's build some more tanks that I need. 50,000? I don't know if I want to build a second Asagayo. Because if I lose even one Asagayo, that's a big deal. But I'll build a Hikari, because these Hikaris are really good. And I'll show you what. Did I, did I ever show you guys Hikari? If not, you're in for a treat. Those things are awesome. So let me just deploy more of my tankies on the field. Um, I don't need you right now. What I need are the Hikaris. I think we'll have one Hikari. Move up the left here. And where's the other Hikari? We'll have this one move up on the right side. We'll have this one flank from the right side. The strategy that was recently debunked as being unbeatable. Damn it, game. But we'll have that happen. And I think I'll also use Mio in this battle. She can go on the far left. And now I'm going to take a Sumari. Or no, a Himawari. And I'll put her on the far right side. How many more tanks am I allowed to deploy? I might assemble something now. Uh, formation please? I need to see. I could put another Asagayo on the field. But I don't think that's the best plan I can do right now, so I think... I think my best plan is just to use tanks I already have. Mostly Sekigaharas. I think that these might actually be able to avoid uh, Mr. Cat's Super Cat power. But I wouldn't know that one for sure. 
So we'll stick some Sekigahara's on the field. Where's the other one? There she is. And I think I'll also, also bring forth a... I had it in my head of what I wanted. Like what particular model tank I wanted. Oh, it's... I don't have any of those model tanks. It's an assault tank. You know what I don't have? Any of the assault tanks I want. Let me go assemble one real quick. I wanted to bring a uh, Kadama onto the field. Just as a low cost extra unit that might get something done for us. And stick her in this field as well. And can I stick anything else onto the field? Uh, I could put in a third command tank. Once again, very cheap to buy. So not really losing much. And I can stick her over here somewhere as a means of trying to confuse the enemy and make it so they can't, you know, kill me. And since I have nothing better to put onto the field, I'll also put on one more Shizuka. And I think that's good enough. I don't... I don't feel like... I don't feel confident, but I also don't feel like this is such a bad idea that we're gonna lose all my tanks and all my money. Because the Hikaris should conceivably be about on the same level as the Mr. Cats, but Mr. Cat's gonna go first, I think. That's gonna hurt slightly. The also, also the good thing about these units that I'm using, they have to. It takes a lot of hits for them to get hurt. But that doesn't really matter with Mr. Cat, because he can. If he lands a direct shot, they're dead no matter what. So this could be bad, is what I'm saying. I could lose a lot of supply here. Not that you guys care, you jerks. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, my Asagayo, the only thing I care about in life. The Samurais can invade. Excellent. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. At least one evaded. We live! Oh, we lived until the- Bye, Hikari. You costed a lot of money to produce. <laughs> Mr. Cat with his immense cat power. He's a freaking tear. March 2? Probably can't beat him on this one. I can at least kill a cat though, right? No? You're not gonna even let me kill a cat? You gotta let me kill a cat. I mean, you're missing my- You're at least missing my evade- Uh, my- Command tanks. I just lost Hikari and Asagayo. I didn't even get a chance to use the damn Asagayo. You could have at least given me that. Oh, I moved up one too far, didn't I? Well... <laughs> No, I didn't get a chance to move! No! Game. 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 Oh, you're a jerk. At least she lived. Click. Click fast! <laughs> Hurry! Take that, Mr. Cat. Take that second, Mr. Cat. You know, by the way, my interceptor still hasn't gone a- Damn it! Still hasn't- Oh, it's dead. Well, it doesn't even matter now, does it? I was going to say, my interceptor still hasn't gotten a turn, so I haven't been able to test if an interceptor can block lasers yet. Give me... You and it, I just, I just have to sit here and click as fast as I can, hoping that I get the chance to move. <laughs> this is horrible. Whee! Take that, Mr. Cat! No! Dodge it! Dodge it, Samurai of Doom and Despair! You're powerful! You're so strong! The strongest unit on the field! You can't be killed! Damn it! <laughs> I really tried to hype her up. <laughs> what? Mr. Cat can evade missiles? No! Mr. Cat's a cheater! Quick! Retreat! No, he found you! Oh, I moved you right into his radius, but luckily he's shooting at Mio instead, who can live through this shot! Oh, as long as you stay alive, there's a chance we can kill one more cat. Just one more cat. No! Mio! My best chance to kill just one more cat. No! I must kill 
One more cat! Just one! No! No! The last cat lives on! Damn you, Mr. Cat! Damn you! Three hundred scrap. I'll take supplies. I'll take it. <laughs> Meow. Can't believe we lost to a kitty. Is that thing really a cat? No. No. Have you seen its weapons? Did we listen? Is this the same song as last time? I don't remember. But I know we've... I know I showed Mr. Cat's credit scenes. It's just sitting... It's his tail! Oh my goodness, look at his tail. It's like... It's, it's crazy, man! Okay. Well, the cat is a murderer. He's murdered the majority of my tank army. And until I recoup those losses, I can't buy anything new. So... My new ass guy okay. <laughs> I want it back. I want my Akari's back too. I want all my Sekigahara's back. Son of a bitch, Mr. Cat. That's about all I really cared about out of the things I lost, so. Is it. Is. Is it time to. develop? A new... <laughs> no. You know why? Because I need to assemble more tanks for this. Uh, I think I... What did it say I needed? Five Kuros, I think? Was it five Kuros? I'm not building them unless I have to. That's just the rule here. It is five Kuros. So I need to develop... I need to assemble five different Kuros. I don't, I don't think that'll leave me enough, so... Kuros, not Kuros. Kuro... Kuro, Kuro, Kuro. Yeah, look how little money I have left now, because I've wasted it all. I've wasted it all frivolously. What about the other tanks? I'll need a Ryoma, but I already have one, so I don't have to worry about that. I need another Hikari, and I need another Asagayo. Well, I'll worry about that later. Let's go to the next battle. My goodness, Mr. Cat. Episode 11. Infiltrate the Nagoya Tower. Is this going to be the same as the last one? With the uh, samurai tanks up there who were like, well, ha. <clears throat> After everything that happened, Shotaro and his fellows decided to relieve their tired bodies at their command post. And it happened in the afternoon. There you go. I think I got it now. The price is still down. I suppose I should I should short sell this bread. This brand. Oh my! What is going on in this room? The atmosphere is so laid back. Joko is playing with a portable game console and eating snacks. Sato is checking stock prices of interest from the newspaper. But if something is so low, you shouldn't be selling it. Sato, you fool. You only lose money if you actively sell the stock. Otherwise, you can just wait a year or two and it'll go back up. That's simple logic there. Unless the company fails, which, honestly, a big company that's on the stock market failing is pretty not likely. Like, the stock market is basically just... Stocks are basically just any other commodity in life. They go up and down based on the supply and demand. And no matter what, it's always going to go back up. And it's always going to go back down. It's just how it is. As long as it's on the market, it's going to go up and down. So there's no point in selling low. You can just hang on to it for a year or two if you have the time. I mean, if it just starts to go low and you think it's going to drop completely, then sell it if you're not going to, you know, bother waiting. But I mean, not much of a point. All right. And Shotaro is adding some fine dirt into one of his plastic models. 
Dang, now I painted too much. He seems to have messed up a little. <laughs> Loser. Not just Lieutenant and Second Lieutenant Choco, even Second Lieutenant Sato is relaxing. What is going on here, ma'am? Ah, uh, I suggested we should take a day off today, because things have been going well with our army, and we have no orders for the moment. I kept telling Sato to have a couple days off work because she's always working so hard, but she wouldn't listen. Persistent, aren't you? You have to act according to situation, and that's why I'm having a rest like this today. I see. It's pretty rare for this sort of thing to happen. But Hashiko, you human tanks have no vacation. <laughs> I don't... Who verbalizes the word shock? God damn it. Do I have to actually say it, or is it like supposed to be like a gasp, or... Oh well. Shock! I already expressed that, but I still can't help feeling sad. I already expected that, but I still can't help feeling sad. Runs away. I heard that real capable workers take their time resting up properly, even if they are overloading with their work. Overloaded with work. It was almost the same. It must be true if Big Bro says so. Choco will rest up properly as well. You spend every day as if it were a holiday, Lieutenant. Oh, almost forgot. What do we get for lunch today? How about fried rice? It's easy to make. So, are you going to cook as part of your staff officer rule? You don't have to because you're off duty, duty today. Oh my goodness, I can't. Every day I can't speak. <laughs> Not doing something I do on a daily basis makes me feel somewhat awkward, though. What will we do? Pizza delivery? Well, um... Hashiko's back. Oh, goodness. By the way, we're in the 4th Armored Corps post. Living room. What is it, Hashiko? Well, um... What, do you have something to say to us? Uh, no, there is nothing, sir. You totally sound like there is. Oh, what is that envelope you are holding? No, this is nothing! There is- this is no commission or any such thing, sir, ma'am! Well then, it appears that we have to postpone our day off. Um... You idiot, Hashiko! Why the hell would you bring it to us? You insensitive dummy! You knew we were having a rest. This is exactly why I didn't want to bring this here. I suppose I should get moving before I get too used to this. Huh, Sato? Did you just say something? I said nothing. Let's just all prepare for the expedition now. It's so hard to speak English. <laughs> Nagoya. I have to... We're back here. The place we bombed. The city lies... The former city. I'm ad-libbing this. The former city lies right in the middle on the eastern invasion route, and is one of the most crucial buildings, crucial holdings for the Royal Army. On the outskirts of the city stands a shining tower surrounded by the Imperial Army. Okay, so we bomb the city, but we don't bomb the Nagoya Long Range Telecommunications Tower? Really? Really? What? Why? What was the... What was the point? Like, this doesn't make sense. If we had a bomb that we could just drop anywhere, why don't we drop it? I mean, I can understand, like, not being able to drop it on, you know, any Imperial holdings, because they'd be able to maybe shoot it down. They have the Gecko. We, we all know they have a Gecko. They could destroy it in air. The Gecko would probably die doing it, but it, they have a Gecko. But, like, why didn't we just... This is not that far away. It's still in Nagoya. Why didn't they just be like, let's drop it on the telecommunications tower? That way, we're not killing civilians, and guess what? We're blowing up a telecommunications tower. <sighs> the, the strategists in our army? Really stupid. Just putting that out there. It is the Nagoya Long Range Telecommunications Tower, commonly known as the Nagoya Tower. So this is that famous Nagoya Tower. It's beautiful. What a big and shining tower. It's splendid. Well, if we take this as a sightseeing tour, we can still feel like we're on a vacation, eh, Sato? What are you saying? We are currently in the middle of a campaign. Get rid of such a feeling. <laughs> It'd be cool to make a human tank as shiny as that tower. Uh, d do not look at me, please. Nobody wants to shine like that. <laughs> Dude, there's this character in World of Warcraft, this little goblin who's, like, wearing this really shiny get-up and has lights on him. That's... I don't know, I don't know where I was gonna go with that, but... It's a thing! 
Sato, we've got no time for admiring the tower. Let's go. I'm not admiring anything. Thank goodness you came. Is there something so important inside the tower? Yes, the Royal Army is hiding intelligence on a new model human tank inside. Oh, so we're not going to bomb our own tower, but we'll bomb our own city. We have a tank in that tower. Let's bomb a city instead. Why, why not just not do either? Oh, well. But we can't get in because of the opponent human tanks occupying it, correct? That's right. Why wouldn't someone defend the tower? Oh, well. There's just so many whys here. I just feel like our army has dropped the ball in such a dramatic fashion in this whole campaign. <laughs> Like, I feel like we just don't deserve to win this war anymore. <laughs> Actually, I think I mentioned in, in Route A that I didn't think we would deserve to win the war. Because it's just like, this whole army is stupid. <laughs> such a pain in the ass. Why don't we just blow up the tower? We, we cannot do such a thing. If we did that, we would lose the intel also. That means that all we can do is sneak in and destroy the tanks one by one. I'm counting on you. The tanks in there are using some kind of strange magic. Magic? Aren't those the new model tanks in question? So are we going to be fighting their new weapon? Really? That's so exciting, isn't it? You're the only one who thinks so. Well then, we're commencing the operation. Hashiko, pick the best members and break into the tower. Roger that, sir! Again, I saluted. I gotta stop doing that. It's just strange at this point. The enemy's new tank model looks proof against long-range attacks. Close combat is recommended. I remember being upset by that word, because it sounds strange in a sentence, but I since then heard it so much more often in sentences than you'd believe. So it's like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I still don't use it properly, but it doesn't matter. How many am I allowed? Six? You know what? I can end this battle in a flash. Let's bring Mio. I'm, I'm, should I just cheat? No, it's not cheating. Mio is not cheating. We've established that. Okay, we've established that Mio's allowed. Also, Ashiko's allowed because she's Ashiko. For God's sakes, man. Also, Mio's probably gonna blow up Ashiko. I gotta be careful about that. <laughs> See, that's why Mio, not really that great of a tank, she can blow up your own guys. But the Hikaris probably are a little bit overkill. Hence why I'll only bring one. One Hikari. Also, because I'm only allowed to fit one Hikari. But those would be a little bit overkill. I'm going to have to assemble some tanks here. I'm going to need some good damas on the field. At least I'd say two, but I'm going to go for three as a uh, just in case. I'm also going to deploy. Actually, I didn't need three because I already I forgot Hashiko was on the field. I think I'm also going to deploy a Sekigahara. But then again, it's like why bother? Because then it's like an invasion battle. Whoever gets there first wins, kind of deal. I don't like that too much. So I think I'm just going to put down two two of my kadamas. Okay, I was hoping like, to really just not put a Kadama down. And what else do I want to do here? I guess I have to put in another one, but like, where will it go? Is the question. I guess she'll just stand by and guard our backs. I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much, I don't believe. There should be an easy battle. The Hikari is just going to decimate. There's not going to be a real fight here. Or so I think. Immensely overconfident much? Yes. Yosh! That was a horrible Yosh. I... Ellen would be very... Ellen? I don't remember the monk from Reketeer's name anymore. Holy crap. That's bad. I should know that game like the back of my hand. There we go. Got one. By the way, their samurai tanks look so much cooler than mine. Actually, no. You know what? I like mine a little bit more, but theirs definitely do look regal, and I really like that. Like that—that that appeals to me. That regal, regal look. Like that really just—it just—it's—it's it's a good look, I'd say. I like a lot of the enemy tanks. Like their command tanks, I like them. Pink hair looks cool. I like Rana. Rara, Rara looked really cool as well. I'm not going to be able to attack this round with Mio, so might as well just move up. Because look, if I try... I mean, I guess I could have, but like, what's the point? I don't think there's anyone over there anymore. That's kind of the thing I don't like about Mio as well. Um, she has such a long sight range that whenever you finally go to attack, if you don't see anybody around you, it's like, there's no point. You know? 
and it's just depressing. Uh, this will probably wipe out everything in life. Nothing, really? That was a miss? I whiffed it? I whiffed it. You whiffed it? Oh no! Yeah, I whiffed it. Move into the corner here and take a nice little shot. Oh, direct hit! Goodbye! No one else though? How many more are left? Still, still a decent amount, looks like. about Mia. Move up. Flank on the right. They won't see it coming. It worked last round. Not. It never works anymore. Ha. You're close quarters. You can't even touch me. Ah. Uh, you're close quarters. But you missed, so it didn't matter. Um. I really want to use Mio here. So, investigating. Wow, there was two side by side back here. That just seems like a horrible strategy on their part. Ow! Oh god, they have long range fire! Nobody warned me of this! Take some. Oh god, I missed. I whiffed it! Don't worry. Mio won't. Explosion. I missed the one. Hit two though, so I mean it's I got it. I got what I wanted out of that. Click 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 click. Move on up. And oh wait, this this thing works differently than um Right. I forgot. Well, that's... That's a thing. I'm gonna shoot myself here. Um... Don't worry about it. I can take three more hits. It'll be okay. Dun-dun-dun! I'm actually afraid to be back here. I don't know why, but I'm... I'm freaking out being back here alone. Oh, has she goes down to her tank area. How far can I move up? Uh, within killing range of my other unit. Let's not do that. Now, I'm gonna actually fire back here. For that long range. Because we know that somebody with a long range weapon was firing. And I'll have Mio go next. We know the samurai tank is somewhere around here. Oh my god, where is she? Oh, I blew her up. That's right. So we're just looking for a long range fire then. Where could they be? Huh. There's, like, a tank just sitting around somewhere. Did it slip behind us somehow? Oh, it's, it's a command tank. With a rocket. It's probably right at the tip, isn't it? It's hiding on the tip, I bet. The tip of the iceberg! gotta be. That's like the only place I haven't seen yet. Okay, well, Mio can move up and just make sure there's no one on this side. Oh, oh, she was... The enemy command tank has been partially hit. I... As much as I would love for Mio to do this, I won't let her do it. Um, I mean, it would have been, it would have been awesome, but I'm not gonna blow up my own tank. Not right now. Not at this stage. I've lost two other tanks, so... Yeah, massive victory. Woohoo. Bunch of scrap. Supplies. Bunch of supplies. Captain, we destroyed the enemy. Good, now get back down here. Big bro, I think that new tank is... Wait, Captain! There's still one left alive. It's almost at the tower exit. Battery units, prepare to fire. Understood. Here it comes. And so I'm like, ha! Fire! Yeah! <laughs> Did we get it? It dodged the attack. Ha! Shock tanks, go! Roger that! Did we finish it? Looks like we were able to take it down this time. 
but the missiles we launched were perfectly aimed at the enemy unit. How did they fail to hit the target? More like, the target evaded them. Evaded? That tank is exactly like the samurai tank that our army used to field. Samurai tank? I've never heard of those. Can you explain what it is? She was a kind of shock unit, but she used a katana for fighting instead of self-destructing. The most remarkable feature of the tank was that she was capable of evading enemy attacks using the large overcoat she wore. Capable of evading attacks? I hadn't known such a cheat of a tank ever existed. But that royal army tank looked more like a knight than a samurai. Maybe we should call her a knight tank or something. If that sort of unit is on the en is on the opponent's side... This is just a guess, but the Royal Army might have gotten hold of one of our samurai tanks and used the technology to build that tank. Wouldn't that be Mio? God damn it, game. We would have found Mio by now in game, wouldn't we have? It's obvious who it is! It's obvious! I didn't notice it the first time around, did I? Probably not. Wait a moment. Does our army have any such tanks at the moment? None right now. Hey, Choco, can't you assemble them again? Again? Hmm, I guess I'll be able to develop and assemble them if I have enough materials. So you also created the earlier Samurai Tanks, Second Lieutenant Choco. Uh-huh, and she's a Samurai Tank as well. Who is... Mio? Bum 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 bum. Ah, that human tank. It's pretty hard to make another Mio, but there's no problem if it's just a mass production type you want. That sounds heartening. And, alright then, let's return to our post. Yeah. Too bad we have to spend the holiday like this. Guess I'll go home and catch some sleep. Excuse me, but what about the intelligence on the new tank model? I like how we're just like, we already knew about this, and they're like, we did it. Oh, you gotta love how Shotaro kept a whole bunch of secrets to himself. That's the greatest. So I now have enough money to finally buy this, but I don't have enough money to actually create it if I do get it. So it's like not really worth it yet so I think I'll just hang on to my supplies and after next battle maybe I'll be able to get it in but I just don't see hold on let me see something we're only in this is episode 11 right okay yeah so I think I can um I think I can get it in for the 13th battle I think we can have it for then and we'll be able to be all like, yo, look at this new tank we've got. And then we'll be like, it's dead instantly because you have a 100% track record for having every single scout tank you ever feel die ever. And I'll be like, oh, <laughs> I thought this would be the one. <laughs> and that'll be that. All right, next episode, we continue on. And I don't actually know. Oh, next episode's where we get to fight the, ge the gecko, isn't it? Isn't that where they're like, look at our airship, the Gecko, and we're like, oh my god, that's crazy. Isn't that what happens? I think it is. But since this is the Southern Campaign, maybe that's wrong. Maybe we run into Karara Iakura again. Who knows? Also, nothing has been developed prior, uh, since then with the whole Rara, Rara situation. Nothing has happened then. So I don't know what's up with this, but we'll find out.